I'm Don Sherman, Technical Director. We're underneath uh, Mustang GT today. This car has endured 40,000 miles of testing. This is a, a rigid axle design, which has generated some complaint over the years. In the beginning, uh, they had uh, what we call the missing link rear suspension, where there weren't quite enough uh, links to guide it and support it in the proper orientation all the time. This one is very nicely tuned, very well done, with two long trailing links right here and an upper short trailing link at the top of the axle. This particular Mustang GT has a track pack. Notice how meaty this uh, rear anti-roll bar is. Uh, one of the locating members for the axle, one, one of the most important is this panner rod right here that ties the axle at this end to the body at this end. And it helps uh, keep the axle in place and pointing in the right direction during hard cornering. Uh, so in total, you've got one, two, three, uh, four links to hold the axle properly in place. The housing itself is steel welded to uh, cast iron with a thinned aluminum cover. Uh, the cast iron helps uh, support the differential and uh, make it durable. We did have a uh, problem with this in that uh, the ring and pinion was noisy at certain uh, times and loads and it was replaced under warranty. Uh, there was some whining uh, from it, but uh, a new one placed at the dealer fixed that. These are uh, two mass dampers, uh, rigidly attached, not rubber mounted. Uh, they help avoid uh, axle tramp during heavy uh, clutch engagement and initial acceleration. The next Mustang will likely offer uh, an IRS or independent rear suspension. Uh, the point of that is to cut down on unsprung weight. This fairly heavy uh, differential moves up and down with bumps on the road and it's difficult to uh, make the ride handling perfect uh, with all that mass moving. Uh, the new one, this will be attached to the floor of the car and just the uh, wheel hubs and outer suspension and portions of the uh, drive shafts will, be, will move with the bumps. Uh, that should improve traction and handling. It also makes a better package back here because in this design you have to provide clearance for that axle to move. Well, when you're just um, going smoothly down the road, that's wasted space. It could be back seat, it could be a larger fuel tank. Uh, so with a new design, uh, that'll be more efficient. Might even be lighter. Generally, those are more expensive. So solving those issues and that design with an affordable car like a Mustang, that's the challenge the engineers face. Do the best job, get the best performance without it costing a lot more money.